Hello everybody, all the clips in this video are from one of my live streams on Twitch and we got a few rares from Silver Ridge Peaks that I thought you would all enjoy. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. We gotta get it for sure. Might be kind of hard though because can't exactly call them in and they're traveling. For those of you that just joined, uh, Tough requested that I do bows only on Silver Ridge Peaks. So that's what we're doing. Bows only here on Silver Ridge. Can I spot you please? Not letting me spot it. <sighs> of course, man. Of course they spook off. All because the one closer to me is... Uh oh, aggressive? What? Oh my gosh. Um... I'll take it. Holy! Look at that penetration! Ooh, this is our chance. There we go. Oh no! Oh! Alright, we got it. We got it down. Ah, uh, that was a little bit more interesting than I expected it to be. Was the first shot even good? Maybe? It might be a little too low. I'm not sure, to be honest. That's cool, though. That is really cool. Uh, here it is, Leucistic Plains Bison. Okay, the first shot was good, just barely. We barely clipped along. Second one absolutely nailed it. That's awesome. Look at the other male. You talking about the coat on him? Because he does look a little different, maybe. Not sure if that's what you were meaning. Actually, I have a little bit of surprise for uh, you guys, uh, power. Oh my gosh, that actually is a piebald. And he's downwind. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take him with the rifle. Just so we can get him down. I don't want him to get away. Because the wind is terrible. There we go. We got him. We got him down. I know we were trying to do bows, but that one right there is the one exception. I just had to get that guy down. That's awesome. A piebald Rocky Mountain Elk. I didn't even notice it at first because this is the coat that doesn't really look super piebald until you get close to it. But that's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, there it is. That's a nice one. Score is 300 exactly. It's got a little bit of character on the rack too. One's a lot higher than the other. That looks so nice. Get this four down. That's the light gray fur variant. I really like the Rocky Mountain Elks uh, different fur variations. I like that there's, I think, three different special variants or uncommons, I should say. Not another piebald, it is. Oh my gosh, that's the second piebald elk of the day. And this is the other variation of piebald, I think. I'm pretty sure this is the one that's got the bigger patches on it. That's awesome. Are you kidding me? Two piebald Rocky Mountain elk in the same stream. Okay, so this is actually the same piebald that we already had. But that's still awesome. We got a second piebald Rocky Mountain Elk. It's a lot smaller than the other one, but still really cool. It's always cool to get double piebalds. And then this guy right here was the bigger one. 
403. Yeah, that's a nice one. Need to find a body mount, but I'm pretty much out of body mounts, to be honest. Although they do fit on these, which is still kind of weird, in my opinion, that they can fit on these, but... There we go. And then we'll put... I guess a turkey there for now. Because the turkey wall mounts are actually pretty cool. Oh my gosh. I like that one. We'll keep it like that for now. And then we'll put this elk right here. Uh, when it's turning like that, you can kind of see that it's piebald. 